Hey, and we're back. Another SNL show, but it's done virtually. Scott and Lane. I'm Lane Stone. I'm Scott. Welcome to SNL This Week. So much like everybody else, we, oh. need, to, we need to adapt, right? Everybody's adapting. And so this show is nothing different. We're adapting ourselves. We're, as much as we'd like to be in person doing it together, uh, we're going to have to come at it a little bit different angle. And uh, you might have to bear with us on some audio or visual because uh, we're doing it straight from Zoom, but we still want to get information out to you. And I'll apologize right, up, right out the gate. We've already done a dry run of this fall scene, and now my little dog Huey has decided it's time to play here at my feet. But we're going to keep rolling. <laughs> keep rolling, keep rolling. So, um, you know, coronavirus is a very serious situation, and that's kind of be that's going to be the topic of what we're going to discuss today. Uh, we don't want to make light of the situation. Uh, we don't want to make anything fluffy and and nice, and we don't want to sell you in any way. All we're here as your resources. Uh, for all things real estate is just to provide information and that's all we want to do we want to be uh, somebody that you can trust and rely on um, and so one of the things that we did is we created a landing page specifically for coronavirus and all of the news updates and stats that we're seeing that directly relate from coronavirus to real estate and that's all we're doing is just providing information here Absolutely. And I've got to give a shout out to Lane and our marketing and tech director, Stipa, because they put a tremendous amount of effort into this. And I'm excited that moving forward, we can really have a definitive resource for you to give you some comfort and some certainty. Absolutely. So uh, what we want to do is I'm going to share my screen here and we're going to go take a look at this landing page so you can learn what to expect and how it's kind of uh, formatted. So let's take a look right now. Hold on. Okay, so when you go to our landing page, you can find it at sackandstoneteam.com slash coronavirus. It's very easy to find. Uh, and, and at the top, the first few articles that you're going to see are just what's in the news that's directly related to real estate and the coronavirus. We have a new article that will be, that will be posted today regarding the new forms that the California Association of Realtors put out. But the most recent article we have highlighted here is over the weekend, uh, Department of Homeland Security put real estate as an essential service. Exactly. And we're excited for that because that puts us in a different category with regards to our abilities and what we can do to maximize the exposure of our homes for the clients. And in our small way, I think keep things moving out there because buyers want to buy and sellers do want to sell. I know. And, and I honestly couldn't believe that, you know, I'm biased, but I couldn't believe that real estate wasn't essential to begin with because uh, you know, two of the main important ingredients uh, of life are food and shelter. And what we do directly uh, relates to people's shelter. So well, let's move on because the good news is we are now essential. So let's... Exactly, exactly. So the next section that you're going to see is uh, articles that we find that are directly related to the economy and real estate. Some of the things that might, direct, that might directly result from the coronavirus, what we could possibly expect in the future. We're also looking at past... Uh, recessions. We're looking at what happened during uh, real estate values during those recessions as well, comparing and just providing information. For example, this first article here talks about recessions during the, uh, the last five recessions and what home prices did. So in 2001, there were a couple of things that happened in 2001. For example, we had 9-11 and we also were in the middle of the dot-com bubble. And so the stock market was really tanking and, and not doing well. There was a lot of uncertainty kind of like what's going on right now. But during that time, real estate prices actually went up 6.6%. We're not saying that's going to necessarily happen this case, but it's a, a situation that we can look back on and, uh, and learn from. Absolutely, Lane. And you know, as many of you know, if you've come to understand our team, Lane is an amazing statistician and fantastic with the facts. I'm more of a visual kind of a guy, but this is a great historical reference for everybody because I've lived through most of these myself. And I found, even though I don't know that much about how to read a whole bunch of stats, the references are awesome. It's a quick read and you get kind of a, a level of understanding about how we can somewhat predict the future by what we've learned from the past. Again, not a guarantee as Lane says, but it has given me a sense of greater understanding. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And let's take a look at this one because a lot of uh, our clients are asking us about potential recession. And again, it, it's a time where you're going to hear the three words very often, I don't know. Um, uh, uh, this is stuff that we've never seen before, we've never had to deal with before. So a lot of the answers that everybody has right now is, is I don't know. So I can't tell you 
uh, if there is going to be a recession or, or when there's going to be a recession and how long it's going to last. But uh, what we do like to rely on is we like to rely on uh, other experts in the field. For example, Goldman Sachs, uh, the definition of a recession are two consecutive uh, quarters with negative GDP growth. And they're predicting Q1 and Q2 of having negative GDP growth, therefore meaning that we're going to be in a recession. But if you can look at their forecast as well, Q3 and Q4 are positive, meaning we're going to get out of it really quickly. And the re if, if and when we do get into a recession, it, it hopefully will not last that long. Scott, as you can see down here as I'm scrolling, we, we're going to have, uh, I, I took a look every single day at the same exact time, different stats, and we update it weekly. So as you can see, this one ends on the 26th. My next one that I'm going to post on this site is going to be tomorrow. But I like to look at actives, under contract, closed. I like to compare them because I'm, I'm curious to see, are there a lot more homes coming on the market right now versus going under contract? Are closing slowing down? Like what's going on with it and, and comparing it? But at the same time down below, I wanna know if there's some distressing news as well, as far as a bunch of homes going back on the market, maybe being pulled from uh, being, li on the mar being live on the market or some canceled uh, listings or even the ones that are being placed on hold temporarily. Uh, so this is definitely a, a good resource and a good w place to go for all things Orange County and just take a look at trends. And you we're gonna have the newest one posted tomorrow. Sorry about that, Lane. You know what's great about this is, is uh, for our viewers out there, Lane is going to be checking this every day, updating it weekly, and this is a really relevant snapshot for own, our own micro market here right in Orange County because whether things are moving up, moving sideways, going up or going down, every market is very local, and this is a great way for you to understand the market that you live and work in. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, and here are some of the things that we've done um, on the Sack and Stone team. You know, it was actually really easy for us to do a lot of these things because these are uh, stuff that we were actually doing even before we uh, had to deal with the, this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, for one, we offer live video or virtual showings, if you will. And it's really easy to schedule a virtual showing. All you have, all you have to do is go to our website and you just need to find the uh, listing that you want. Click on the listing and then over here, you're going to see the day, the time, and all that when you want to schedule a tour. And we'll link up with you and we'll be able to get you that virtual uh, link as far as being able to do a virtual showing. Uh, and and if, at a, if virtual does not work for you, uh, we will also help maybe set up some sort of an in-person one provided we follow all of the rules set by the CDC, all the rules set by our uh, local boards, and make sure we practice safe, safe, um, uh, it, it make sure we provide a safe, safe environment for the showings. And on that note, now that we are essential once again, and our local association of realtors is being on the forefront of things, we now have documentation and additional forms that give us the guidelines that we do follow for in-person showings with um, okays and approvals from the buyers and the sellers as what behaviors are expected and how these showings are being conducted. So the good news is whether you're from the virtual end of things or you're just getting right down to that decision to, I'm gonna buy this home, if I can get in and see it, we can accommodate the entire end of the spectrum from dipping the toe in the water to I'm just about ready to put pen to paper and we can be in complete compliance with all of the current rules and regulations to ensure your safety and make sure that you're making the right decisions. Absolutely, absolutely. and. It, I think the best first step, though, to be honest with you, is to take a look at the 3D virtual tour first, because you might take a look at it right away and know it might not be the one to schedule a showing or a virtual showing or in-person showing. And every one of our listings that we're going to be going live with will have a 3D virtual tour. It'll look very similar to this. You can go anywhere you want in the house. You can look around. And it's almost like you're there, really. You get a kind of sense of the space. You get to look at how the, how the home is laid out. You can visualize yourself living there. And then if, and only if, like you, after you're taking a look at this, that you still want to see the home, then is when it may be a good time to schedule an appointment. But this is a great for starting point for our listings here. Absolutely. Uh, one of the last points that we want to bring up, and kind of, it's almost like a little bit of a self-brag, but uh, our team was on the, the forefront of, uh, spearheading uh, an MLS policy change, MLS being the multiple listing service where all of our listings, uh, you know, are posted. 
Well, we were working with the Orange County Association of Realtors, and we came up with the idea of allowing them to have our links for that virtual 3D tour that you just saw, and maybe a virtual open house uh, link uh, to be posted in the property description, which was not allowed before. And what that means is anything posted on the MLS in the property description automatically gets syndicated out to the big websites like Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Redfin. And the first sentences that they're gonna, that the consumer is gonna read are gonna be these links that direct them to the 3D tour, that direct them to scheduling a virtual open house or scheduling a virtual showing. And so that's really big that we were able to be kind of like on the forefront of that change. And I'm gonna stop the share there because I don't, I, I think we're pretty much done as far as maybe what to expect on our landing page. Like I said, it gets updated daily. Uh, so we have a new news, news article going out today. We have updated weekly stats that are going to be going on tomorrow. So it's going to be a great resource. You come to rely on us. You come to look up, look upon us as your advocates and your resource. And we want it. That's all we want to do is just provide information and, and just be a strong, steady shoulder that you can always lean on. I think to read our Elena is saying, regardless of what's going on, we're zigging, we're zagging. We want to be that consistent solid resource for you. And I just might add that website again is sackandstoneteam.com slash coronavirus. We can count on Lane when he says it's going to be updated. It's going to be updated and always relevant. If you'd like to share that with your friends, that would be great. We also have a great newsletter that comes out on a quarterly basis that for those of you that kind of like print. So if you'd like to share your address with us, we'd love to make sure that you're getting that. Our April one is coming up. It's got some other great tips and tricks for spring cleaning and so forth. Since we're all spending some more time at home, we think you'll find that enjoyable as well. Also, if you want to give us your email address, we've got a great update that comes out every week as well. So across all platforms, we want to be your real estate resource. Nothing back other than providing information right now to give you some comfort. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching our episode of SNL, our virtual episode. Hopefully we can continue to provide these for you. Our number one goal on that is that you please stay safe. We care about you deeply more than you know, and we're always here for you for anything that you need.